my first club was actually Full Wool Boys. Um, John Henderson played for the same team, but he's a little bit younger than me. And it was a great team to be part of. I, I was the only girl. Whenever I see the pictures in my head, I was definitely the only girl in there and just about nine, ten boys. And then when I got to nine, I, I got a phone call saying girls can't play with the boys anymore. And I was devastated. I was crying. I, I ran home from school, I think. I'd, I'd been told that school. And then my mum was like, well, there's other sports out there, netball and stuff like that. But all I wanted to do was play football. And then luckily enough, I found a club called Bolden Girls. And I entered this whole new world. I remember turning up on my first day and there was just all girls playing football. And I was like, I think that's when I realised that I wasn't the only one. So that was like a real family feel. And the coach, he's still there now, 30 years later, it does it all volun voluntarily, which is brilliant. And yeah, so from there, I, I played for them and then I got picked up by Sunderland Academy. But it's not like nowadays, you don't then go to academy. It was just, you got opened up to an extra day of training with Sunderland. And then by the age of 14, I was playing with the women's team, which is so crazy to think. So I was playing with 30, 31, 32 year old. And I had to realise pretty quick that I had to be able to look, look after myself. I remember my first game waiting to come on and the captain of the team turned to the side and was like, why are you bringing her on? And I was like already scared because I was only 14, but I knew I had to stick up for myself and I knew I had to work hard. And I think that's when I realised as well from a young age that it was going to be a tough journey, but it was also going to be worth it.